Hello guys. So today we're gonna try out a Von Hot machine which will be Blue Sky. Over here, the author of this machine will be the Sun SCR team. So this machine over here it shows that the difficulty is easy. And the goal over here we need to get the root shell and grab our root flag under the root directory. So let's go to here and start it out. Over here I performed the MNAP port scanning already. So over here we found out there's two port opening over there. The first one will be the port SSH and the second one will be the port 8080 which is running a uh, Apache Tomcat services. Okay, so let's check it out first. Okay, as you can see over here, this is the default Apache Tomcat web page over here. Over here, these are the manager app and the host manager. But in this challenge rank, these are not the correct path to go because they are not using the default credentials. Let's try to check out the directory for Zing first. Okay, we're gonna use the search. Then copy this one, paste it here. And we're gonna use a common word list first. Okay, so these are all the default directories that we found. But actually, in this case, right in the challenge, this common word list or all the end, any other word list over here. Okay. So this word list all over here, right? And over here, actually. All these word lists, huh? they don't have some of the keyword to find the vulnerability for this machine over here. So in this case, right, we're gonna use a custom word list that we found on the web. Uh, you guys can find it over here. The name is this one. Word list Apache. This one. This word list. Cross word list. So this word list, right, we can get it from the GitHub page over here. Place it over here. So these are the places that you can get a word list. These are all the things that we can use to perform some directory web fuzzing that this person just released to us. So in this challenge, right? I try to use this. I try to search for multiple word list, right? And I found that actually this um uh, this word list, right, works for me. Space script. And then Apache and this one. As you can see over here. Let's try to let it to scan it out first. Because some of the keywords in the word list, right, that we have in the default Kalinus word list, they do have a lot of stuff that we can find out. Like for example this one. Struct to showcase that will redirect us to a showcase dot action. So this one right. Actually, inside the Kalinus default word list, right, we can't find it out. So we need to find it somewhere else in the web. So one of the good word lists that you can add on is just now the word list. Close word list. So let's try to check out this uh, directive page first. And we end up in structure showcase. Showcase dot action this page. So this is the default page for it, for struts. And we know that this one is using strut2 so this is a keyword that we need to find to exp the exploit for it so copy this one paste it to here exploit with you okay this is the first one exploiting OGML injection in apache struts we check out here okay so there are two critical vulnerabilities in the struts the first CVE is this CVE, and the second one is this CVE. Okay, we'll try to check out this one, the first one first. So, seems like this is the one, right? Localhost 8080, strut 2 showcase, showcase the action. And this is the part we inject the command, the bash or sh command. So, we go to the exploit db page over here. And we'll find 
the remote code execution script over here. So we go to this one, I think this is a raw one. Right? Okay, copy this one. Clear it out first, double get. Is it over here? Okay, file 415. So this is a Python script. Rename this one to this one, yeah. And then we're gonna use Python 3.9. Eh, not 3.9. Python. This is a Python 2 or Python 3. Eh? So, one five. so this is a Python 2, I think so. So Python 2, we're gonna use this one. 457. And we're gonna put this one. We we'll copy this one, paste it over here, and then we're gonna tie our ID for example. And as you can see that we have just successfully executed a command at the remote server over there. So now we need to get a shell. How can we do that? So I use this one bash. Hmm, it seems like not working. Never mind. Try shell out so where are we? So we are in a home directory of this Ming Tuan user over here. So as as L A over here we don't have a dot SSH directory. But just now as we can see that the port twenty two is open, right? Um so we go to here we create a SSH word uh, directory, we create it, we go to dot SSH and then we touch, we create a file, we name it as authorize keys. And then what we need to do echo okay, echo, we open up a new one again. CD desktop, CD blue sky, SSH key gen. We're gonna generate our own SSH key pair over here. I name it as IDRSA empty passphrase so get idrsa public key copy everything else over here and paste it here put it into authorize keys and what does happen over here I just insert it into that. Let me check it out first. Cat authorize this. Mm, nope, nothing in there. Let me check it out which part I have a problem. Try to change this one first. Change this one to this one. Change the code. Enter. Okay, check it out again. And we have just injected our own public key into there. Now, what we need to do SSH I ID RSA. The user is. Uh, what's the user already? Who am I? Ming Quan. So, this user Ming Quan Alliance. And two, one, six, one, zero, one, two, three. Enter. And we just create an access into Ming Tuan user right now. So over here there is the Ming Tuan home directory. And we got our user flag. Get this one, user.dst. Okay, try your best. You have passed the first challenge. And the last one is for you, Rudney. We try to check out the Zuno minus L first. Okay, seems like we need the credential, but we don't have, right? We try to find out um, SUIDB to exploit. Boom, and if you want to type F, and then execute oh, S minus L. Okay. Wait. Did I just mess up everything else? Okay? Hmm, execute. Oh, find it from here and then like this. Hmm, if I didn't just mess up. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so now we will like to scan first to find the SUID bit. See, is there an SUID bit we can exploit or not? Okay, we will like to run first. It's gonna take quite a while. Still running over here. Okay, some result just returned back to us. Not interesting, not interesting, not interesting, and not interesting. Seems like nothing much that we can find over here, huh? These are all the default binaries that's not exploitable. So this one is not exploitable. Hmm. We try to let it run finish first. Okay. Bin Mao, Bin Ping, Yu Mao, SU. Okay, so seems like nothing much that we can exploit over here. Try to check out the home directory first. Okay, that's a dot bash us history. Try to check out over here. Okay, sudo password db bin tuan, change the password. CD Mozilla. Oh, it seems like there's a Mozilla installed over here, huh? Try to check out again. Dot Mozilla. Okay, it seems like there's a Mozilla over here. Probably the user Ming Tuan, right? They have uh, saved some of the credentials when they are using Mozilla Firefox this browser. So we try grab this one, tra, tra, compress it, uh, name it as Firefox backup data dot uz, and then Firefox not Firefox dot Mozilla. Compress everything else. Then. Hmm. So we go to the blue sky. Now we need to find Firefox decrypt to decrypt the Firefox credentials. Okay, so I think this is a one, right? Okay, Python three point nine is required. Okay, mm, this one I think we can close it. This one we we'll just close it. And over here, get clone. Clone this one, and now we need to spawn. Oops. Okay, let me get. This one we name as Mozilla. Then come dot star dot user. We get over here now. We need to extract it. No such far. Uh, far not far. What did I just name it? Uh? Name it as Firefox Mecca. Oh, not Mozilla Mecca. Okay, we download this one first, and then we extract it. Okay, so now over here, that's the dot Mozilla over here, right? Now we cd into Firefox decryptor, Python 3.9, Firefox, and then let's specify the Mozilla. Over here, we need to go into the Firefox and press enter. Over here, we got two profile. So we're going to check out the first profile first. Okay, nothing that we can get over here. We check out the second profile. And as you can see that we just found the username Mingtuan and the password is this password. 
And it seems like this is a credential for twitter.com login. We copy this one. And then we go to here. Uh, sudo sl. We paste the password. And it seems like this is a credential that Mintoin user reuse again to log in into this Ubuntu machine. So as you can see the sudo minus l here, we can run all the commands root. So we're gonna use sudo bash. And now we are root user. So we go back to the root. Okay, so we found our root flag. And we just successfully rooted this machine. So this is a good machine for us to practice though. Okay. So that's all for my video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.